finally did it. I did the impossible. I made an MMORPG all by myself. Or at least the prototype. I sort of, kind of, made an MMORPG. And to be honest with you, this is going to be a devlog. But I'm only making this devlog just to brag to you guys about it. I know it sounds kind of disrespectful or kind of like rude or kind of like cocky in an aspect, but the whole reason why I wanted to make this game in the first place was to prove that I was the greatest game developer on the planet, or that may ever live. And yeah, I did it. I'm making this video to solidify my claim to be the greatest game developer ever, and I'm proving it with this video game. Virtual Monsters, believe it or not, is a full-fledged MMORPG. You could download it now if I made it available to download, but I've decided I'm not gonna make it available to download just yet. And um, yeah, let's get into the devlog. Hello, my name is Codemaster Jamal, and welcome to another devlog for my 3D monster collecting MMORPG Virtual Monsters. It's been a very long time since my last devlog, and I'd like to pick up where we last left off. Many things have changed since then, and now my game looks almost completely different from when you were last here. I believe this is the 19th or perhaps 20th devlog in this series. I haven't made too many devlogs since then, but hopefully this devlog will help you catch up to speed. The last time you were here, we made our second monster for our game, Inukin. At the time, we called the monster Gao, however, since then, we have changed the name of the monster to Inukin, since apparently Gao is something offensive in Irish or something. With that, I started to work on the combat system of the game. It looks a little weird since none of the monster models have animations, but I managed to get a decent amount of work done with connecting the game to the server. I needed to be able to test the movement of the monsters and test out how things like special attacks and abilities would work for monsters. I believe I have a decent system for movement done, so I will be moving on to seeking up combat to the server soon. And just to give you an idea of the different features you can perform in combat, so far you have the ability to jump and double jump, but there's also an ability to fly depending on what kind of virtual monster you have on your team. There's also a feature to dodge enemy attacks, a charging feature, and several other features that will possibly take up an entire devlog just to explain. So I won't be going deep into the combat system just yet because it isn't entirely finished. However, when it is done, basically there will be an entire devlog dedicated just for it. Next, I would like to announce that the website MW Industries Game Development and Software is officially open. You can now register with the site and reserve your usernames today. I will post a link to the website on the screen. I've actually started a channel just for MW Industries. That channel will actually have videos that talk about updates to the site, and we will also use that channel to announce special events, parties, and those kind of things. So make sure to sign up for the website. Also, I have an official sign up form for the beta test of the game. If you would like to join the beta test of the game, there will be a link to the beta test in the description below this video. Just make sure you have an MW Industries account before you sign up for the beta test. Regardless, we will use that list as sort of a mailing list in order to keep you up to date about the game and all of its upcoming features. I'm also not going to announce what it is you'll be getting, but if you do sign up for the beta test and participate, you will receive a special gift just for participating in our event. Once again, thank you for everyone that has already signed up. We will get to you very shortly. So after I worked on the battle system for the game, and I did this for roughly a month or so, I decided to go back to working on the character selection and character creation systems. Ideally, both of these systems go hand in hand with one another, so as I was designing one system, I needed to work on the other system for the game as well. The main part of this system is the character DNA class, which is a system that stores the majority of the player's data in regards to how their character looks. It's also the same system that actually spawns the character into the game and assigns the appropriate clothing, models, and materials to the character. This system was very crucial for the game because with this, I can design how NPCs will look in the game. The next thing was creating the UI for the game and making sure all of the cameras for the game work properly. Once this was done, everything else seemed like a breeze. 
course, because this is an MMORPG, I had to make sure that all of the data for the player that was sent to the server was valid and that we could load and unload players' data into the client with ease. I will dive deeper into the subject of character creation in another devlog as I could literally spend all day talking about the subject. Just like the battle system for the game, I feel like this deserves its own devlog as I spent a very long time working on just this system alone for the game. It actually took me an entire year to get the system down, but I needed to work on a lot of things for it. It wasn't just code, it was also 3D modeling and a lot of texturing that made this system take a long time to complete. Not to mention, I built this entire thing by myself. I really like to give a separate devlog for this because there's a lot of behind the scenes footage I have and I really like to get rid of that space on my computer. I'd actually like to create a time lapse of how I did everything and how everything went down. That being said, once everything for the system was done, my game started to feel like an actual MMORPG. In fact, I actually managed to rent a virtual machine and I hosted my game online. This game actually works. I put the alpha release of the game for sale online, but I decided to take it down because I didn't feel comfortable releasing an unfinished product. But yeah, I managed to actually test this game, and as you can see here, people can log in with their account and then walk around the overworld. At the time, there weren't that many features for the game. If you see what the game looks like now, we have a chat feature and we're also working on different apps for the virtual drive. You can also see other players walking around in the game. It's really cool and I want to continue working on this game. I'd also like to announce a few more things in this video. This devlog was already going to be a long one just because I haven't updated you guys on this channel in a very long time. The next thing I want to announce is that I actually released some music for the game recently. It's a 10 track album and it was all music made by myself. I have a lot of music written and I will be releasing the music soon. You can find my music on pretty much every platform from Spotify, Pandora, Apple Music, YouTube, and even more. I'd really like it if you took the time to listen to the music since the reason why a lot of people got into my game in the first place is because they really liked my music. So I decided to release that music and you guys have no idea, but releasing music is a lot harder than you can imagine. And more importantly, you can listen to my music for free across several platforms. So you don't have a reason not to listen to my music, but I greatly appreciate it if you do. So far, my music has actually gotten some good reviews. A lot of people have told me that the music is very tight and I wrote a lot of good songs. There was a lot of different types of music that I wanted to release, but some of the music I made wouldn't have worked on that album. To make up for this, I will make separate albums for music in the game, each with their own themes. I've actually written majority of the music, but releasing music takes a lot of time. And since we have music made for the game already, I'll actually be using music for the game in future devlogs, so look out for that as well. I'd also like to take the time to give a shout out to one of my fans. Her name is Olivia. I believe she lives in Germany and she actually made some fan art for the game. This is a monster that she created for the game called Bluezor and I actually plan on making 3D models of this monster and actually putting it inside of my game. So thanks to Olivia, I'm doing this just because someone out there just happened to be very influenced by my game and I really appreciate that. I like the fact that I feel like I'm making a difference in the world. I feel like I'm inspiring people to live their dreams. I definitely see across social media people ripping my content and ripping a lot of things I say, even a lot of techniques I use for making games. People have used, not a lot of people credit me, and that's okay. The only thing I ever asked was for people to actually share my videos. But I'm, I'm finding out that even college professors and even high school professors are actually using my videos during the middle of their classrooms, and they're actually using my videos to teach their students. So I actually really appreciate that, and I really appreciate all the support that everyone's given me over the years. Even when I walk outside, people do tend to know me. Like, I feel famous already, even though I don't really have a lot of subscribers, but I already am famous. And I realize that now. And that's such a good feeling, being able to walk outside and, you know, people saying like, hey, aren't you the creator? Don't you make video games? And people telling me those type of things. So I really like that feeling and I want to continue with that. I like the fact that I'm making people happy. Just that feeling alone is very special and it makes me feel good inside. It's a heartwarming feeling. I like that type of feeling.
In regards to the video game, I'd like to announce that I've built a launcher for the game. So now the game is easier to distribute across different platforms and systems. With this, I could potentially put the game back up for sale and release consistent updates. However, I've decided to wait until there is a stable build for the game with a decent amount of features before I try to sell my game. One thing that I've learned about business is that everyone tends to focus on product design and marketing, but no one ever really talks to you about distribution. Knowing how you're going to distribute your game or product is very important because the easier it is to get your game to the buyer, the easier it is to make a profit. And with the earlier build I had for the alpha release, players would still have to re-download the game every time there was an update. I managed to fix this so that there isn't a problem anymore, and now players can download this program one time, and every time there's an update for the game, the launcher will automatically update and install the program. Unless we happen to change some things in something like the EULA or the privacy policy or the terms of use, that'll be the only reason why we would change our launcher. But regardless, this one build is enough to play the game for the rest of your lives. So now everyone is on the same page and you won't have to worry about consistently installing and uninstalling a program from your computer. Once again, I'm developing this entire game on my own budget, but I'd appreciate the help. I didn't want to do a Kickstarter for the game, but there are other ways you can support the game and also get something out of it. The reason why I don't want to do a Kickstarter is because there's a scam going on within the game development community where a team of developers will work very hard for the trailer of a game, post it up on Kickstarter, promising a lot of features, and the developer Developers will basically take their money and the people that back the project will lose their money because a lot of those projects will never see the light of day. And basically what these developers end up doing is that they end up scamming people out of their money. Not that I ever do anything like that in the first place, but I don't really want to be associated with that crowd of people, especially because when I started this game, I said that I could fund everything by myself to begin with and my game's almost done. Well, the game will be, the game will be done. <laughs> that, that would basically be it. I'd finish the video game and then I'd probably move on to the next thing in my life, perhaps working on another video game or the next thing. My game is almost complete and at this point I funded the entire project myself. From the assets to the server, my website and everything else has been self-funded. And once again, in order to release this game, I'm still not asking for any help. That being said, if you do want to help, there is a way how. And I've decided to release some merch as a way of supporting the game. So once again, if you would like to support the game, please take the time to buy some merch from my store. It would really help out. Plus this way you're actually getting something out of it. My motto is that you should get what you pay for, and I think that's very unfair for people to put their money into a game that they will never actually grasp. At least this way, you get to support the game, but you'll actually get something in return for helping out. And this way, your money isn't going to waste. I really care about my followers. I can't believe that I actually have over 600 subscribers on this channel and I have another 600 followers on Instagram and another 100 followers on GameJoel and another 100 followers on TikTok. I think that's very neat and amazing. I'm not going to announce what I have planned for the future because I have this belief that I'm going to jinx everything. For now, I'm just going to say that I'm going to keep working hard and we will see what happens in the future. I'd also like to tell you guys that the real reason why I haven't uploaded to this channel in a while is because I actually actually started making shorts on my other channel, Virtual Monsters RPG. In the future, that channel will be the channel for all of the latest news about Virtual Monsters. So if you want to head over and subscribe in order to get the latest updates, feel free to do so. Once again, I will still be making devlogs on this channel, but they will be longer and full length videos detailing every aspect about development of the game. And sometimes I'll just release videos for the sake of releasing videos. I noticed that a lot of people actually like my art tutorials, so I'll continue making art tutorials in the future. Thanks to everyone that has been liking my videos and watching my content over the years. I really appreciate your support, especially those of you who took the time to subscribe to my channel. That makes me feel very great just to be a part of something bigger and greater than I am. To everyone who watched this video until the very end, have a wonderful time. Keep making games. Till next time, this is Codemaster Jamal, and I'm signing out.